Hi, Michael Phillips here. I'm the film critic of the Chicago Tribune and this month's host for TCM's Friday Night Spotlight series. All month we're delving into the future and like the film we just presented, Steven Spielberg's AI, our next film imagines a technological leap forward into a world that, well, it makes dear old 2013 look pretty cozy. The film is Total Recall. It was a huge hit for its star, Arnold Schwarzenegger, back in 1990. And like one of last week's Friday Night Presentations, Minority Report, this one comes from a story by Philip K. Dick called We Can Remember It For You Wholesale. Here's the setup for Total Recall. It's the year 2084. Mars has been colonized by a powerful industrialist who charges exorbitant fees for fresh air. Still, it's a hot tourist destination like Vegas, but with mutants and haunted by nightmares of Mars, even though he's never been there. The construction worker played by Schwarzenegger decides to pay a virtual reality visit to the Red Planet. So he drops by Recall Incorporated, where he can enjoy his Martian getaway without leaving what looks like the world's most frightening dentist chair. But then Arnold discovers that his life on Earth isn't quite what it seems. And a significant body count later, he's off to Mars for real to learn the truth of what's going on in his head and what's up with the corrupt governor of Mars, played by Ronnie Cox. The director, Paul Verhoeven, nearly got an X rating for the violence in Total Recall, so get ready. With the supporting cast, including Sharon Stone, Rachel Ticketon, and Michael Ironside, from 1990, and the latest in TCM's Future Shock Festival on our Friday Night Spotlight. Here it is, Total Recall. Well, I'm not going to Mars. It took years for Total Recall to find its way to the screen. At various points in its development, the leading role, eventually taken by Arnold Schwarzenegger, was earmarked for Richard Dreyfuss, Patrick Swayze, even William Hurt. Schwarzenegger and director Paul Verhoeven guided the end result toward the violent, big-budget fantasy we just saw. And here's something to think about. Only one year after Total Recall came out in 1990, director James Cameron scored a huge hit with Terminator 2, which made use of groundbreaking computer-generated imagery. Total Recall, by contrast, trafficked in old-school special effects, lots of miniatures and what the effects wizards call practical magic, though it's pretty grotesque magic, I'm sure you'll agree. We'll see you next Friday for a couple of time travel movies, plus two post-apocalyptic fables of survival when the TCM Friday Night Spotlight continues. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, scientist Richard Basehart plots to unleash the Satan bug. Then Lionel Jeffries is one of the first men in the moon. And Roland Young sets out to create a utopia as the man who could work miracles.